into the second row and makes a terrific play. Payoff pitch, swing and a drive deep to right, down the line, and there it goes. Daniel Murphy, a home run, has given the Mets the lead here. Time for baseball on the show from the bank in the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hit sharply toward the right side. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. And that runner will go no further than second. Chris and a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. This is well struck, high and deep toward the left field corner. And now this will make it down to the 334 sign. Oh, and he misses the stop sign there as he heads for the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. I think the phrase here is, when you're hot, you're hot. He's been on fire the last week or so. It's going to continue here as he drives this all the way out to the wall. It'll wind up an RBI triple. Chris Miller has been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by the... You don't want to give in to his strength. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Fernandez looking up, gone! Solo shot here to left. Home run number 59 on the season as the Phillies move out in front 3-2. to two. Well, apparently these guys didn't see the highlights from yesterday because he had two home runs a day ago. Now he's got another home run right here. So now obviously this pace won't last, but man, he is hit everything. A tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our top player of the game, but I think this fellow right here would seem to be the logical choice. Without him in the lineup, I our think this might have been a different tonight. story. First for the victorious so that just about does Phillies. it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vasker from the city of brotherly love between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies last night. Well, his last game was a breath of fresh air because he's been stinking it up lately. Under 200 over his last 10 games. Miller is in a few steps as he takes it for the first. Chris Miller. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Stunning. Yeah, he was doing just fine up until the last time he took the mound. He's got to hope that that was just an aberration, or he might not stick around to see another. Chris Miller will come in now to begin the slow changeup. He just did break that swing off in time, oh, oh, and that me. one misses. So the and he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. Hoover is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Striding into the into the windup and the pitch. Hard liner to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Situations that kids go through in the backyard. Bases juiced, two outs. He needs to stay within himself and just focus on making good contact. One run scores. Throws there, and he is meat at home plate. Safe at home. Springer. Two-run double. Astros go on top, four to three. Got to hit it to the right place. And he hits it out to center. Right center. Blackman's got a long way to go. He's still Bounce going. Off the wall. And it is go, off the go. wall. It's so we'll have a pinch hitter coming up here with a runner at first and nobody out. Player of the game award. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. Time for baseball on the show between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hello right here is our top yeah, player of the game. Tonight. Yeah, first he connected on a couple of long home Six runs. With the skyline in front of us between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hammers it to deep right field. Miller ranging back. He's there to track it. Chris Miller will stand in now in one the of the bases loaded. Shot towards second. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. One run is scored. The runner scores from second. He joins the 
3,000 hit club with a home run. 18,000 men have played Major League Baseball. Only 29 have had three. From downtown Atlanta, between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Who stands out to you, EK? Well, guys, everybody should be looking out for that guy in the number three. Stead. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center, and his power surge continues, and even 60 for him on the year, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Boy, you can start polishing up that MVP trophy. 60 home runs for him on the year now. That's just an incredible number. And you know, he was locked in from day one. Line toward the gap in left center. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. Chris Miller in for the Phillies so far. Hit hard toward center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Runners on the move for second. And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. He's in there. You feel most comfortable with? That's the one you want to turn to. Takes this the other way to right. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. It's two trips so far. Yeah, just sort of rolling over on it, guys. See if he can make a small adjustment and get through one here. And he will make the play out there. And, fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Right. Our final Definitely did enough tonight. to earn himself the hardware. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt. Now from 755, Hank Aaron Drive. A look at Turner Field. Digging in to try and... <laughs> so would the guy on the mound. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The throw into second. And he is in there. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. In the air, out to right. Miller is going to get there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Here's the one and one delivery. Line toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. I think the phrase here is when you're hot, you're hot. He's been on fire the last week or so. And it's going to continue here as he drives this all the way out to the wall. It'll wind up an RBI triple. Down the third baseline. Well, on the backhand, he knocks it down. And the run is in to score. Chris Miller. Very weakly on the ground. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll extend their lead even further. Yeah, just two hits in the ballgame, but they were both big ones. The triple and the double. And I thought, for this game at least, he was the best player on the field. So that just about does it for E.K., Psycho, and the crew. A good look there at the Southern Sky between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Time now for a glance at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Steve, how do they go about completing the sweep on the road? Well, this is a great team that goes out there. It's last 10, so yesterday's performance shouldn't have come as any big surprise to anybody. Smoke toward the hole, and a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And he will beat the tag, safe at the plate. And on the play, the two away. And this could prove to be a huge at-bat in this game because you don't want to let these type of... Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is in there at the play. Nice night's contest.
Well, his last game was a breath of fresh air because he's been stinking it up lately. Under 200 over his last 10 games. Chris Miller. Will... That runner will get a head start out there. And he nope. takes ball oh. four again. And clearly, guys, they just don't... In inning number seven, he's set. Here comes the 1-1. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Cates racing back in to score the runner from third. Infante knew he had no chance. He went up the middle, backhanded the baseball, flipped it in his glove to Escobar. And Upton stole a home run! That ball was at least a row deep, and Upton committed absolute highway robbery. After the Rangers took the lead, in bizarre fashion in the top half. One one for Dolce. April 18th against Atlanta in the 10th. A three-run walk-off home run May 26th against the White Sox in the 9th. And he's got it again! Get out of here! Home run! And did he get it? Yes, he did! Oh, my! Kevin Kiermeyer reaching over the wall in Mike Trout fashion. Able to go up and get it and take away a home run from Manny Machado. Yet another highlight film catch for Kevin Kiermeyer. Drill toward right center field. On the run is go. See. Well, the race for the World Series crown is down to eight. It's game one of the National League Division Series. Let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Yeah, and top to bottom, I think both of these clubs have a lot of different guys that can beat you. It might not just be the stars that dominate this series. Pulled toward right center field. Miller moves over, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI. Chris Miller. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Sanborn racing back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Oh, and he runs right through the stop sign. But no, he'll put on the brakes. Since first hit of the ball game. Santana. They've been totally shut down to this point, but he makes great contact on this one, and he's going to wind up hustling all the way over to third with a triple. Pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Hitter of the year, and the third in Nationals history. The Nationals dugout empties. Wilson Ramos with the fist punches. After a hotly contested start to the series, it's game two of the NLDS. Chris Miller. Ready, 33 pitches now through an inning and two thirds. That's an awfully high number this early. Sanborn ranging back. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. His first homer here in the series as it is now 7-3. to three. Well, he painted himself into an almost impossible situation on the mound. The conditions were right, and you know, when you're facing a guy like this with the bases loaded, you just get that feel. The ball down, and he's not missing by much, but he is behind oh, in the count, so you wonder if he's going to have to challenge right here. And that misses. That runner will get a head start out there. It's swung on and hit in the air. Sanborn sprinting after it. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. They'll extend their lead here as the runners. And 
think, guys, if you're going to be successful in the postseason, as you know, you need players coming up big, and this guy certainly did that. He's our top player of the game. Absolutely crushed over the pavilion, and it's 1-0. Oh, my. Or gets the sign, the wind-up, the 2-2. Two -two. Swing, there's a drive to right field deep. A look there at a sold-out crowd that's been whipped into a frenzy. It's game three of the National League Division Series. With that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. E.K., any thoughts? Well, I think you better look out for that cleanup here. He's one of the best clutch hitters in baseball. They can get guys. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fly ball heading for the alley. Sanborn going back on it, but he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following Chris Miller. Right here, but I think that's going to be awfully difficult. High and deep to straightaway right. Ruben going back to the track, to the wall. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the series. And the Phils have cut the gap to 4-2 now. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing. And sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. This team needed a lift in the biggest way, and the kid came through. Wow, is that huge. Here's a There's a look at a capacity crowd that's been anxiously awaiting the start of this one. It's game four of the National League Division Series. So striding in. It worked out well for him. I don't think he was looking breaking ball, and that turned out to be a beauty. High and deep to straightaway right. Urban racing back. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly. Makes a Willie May style catch. Oh. That's to center, and Hicks has got a retreat going back. And that ball is oh. caught by Aaron Hicks with his back to the end. Catch by Hicks in center. Great concentration, great over-the-shoulder catch. 